We're being asked to solve a differential equation. It looks like it might be an exact differential equation. So let's go ahead and check. So recall when you're checking to see if something is exact, this piece here, this is your big M, and this piece here is your big N. And you want to start by checking del M, del Y, right? An easy way to remember this is if there's an X here, you got to take the partial with respect to Y. If there's a Y here, you got to take the partial with respect to X. So del M, del Y, well, the derivative of tangent in that case would be zero. Uh, this guy hangs out, so we get negative sine X. And the derivative of sine would be simply cosine Y. Now we have to compute del n, del x, and again, there's a y here, so you just put an x here. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and we treat the cosine y as a constant, kind of. So this is cosine y. And so these are equal, so our de is actually exact. So it is exact. So what does it mean for it to be exact? Well, this is exactly what it means. <laughs> uh, that means there exists. That's what this weird looking E means. Uh, there exists a function f such that the first partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to this guy here. So 10x minus sine x sine y. And the first partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to this thing here. So this is cosine y, cosine x, sorry, and cosine y. And so now how do we, how do we solve this? Well, you just pick one and integrate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and integrate this one. So it doesn't matter which one you pick, you get to the same answer. So f of x, y, so we're integrating with respect to y. So the cosine is going to hang out, and when we integrate cosine of y, this one's going to hang out. Integrating cosine of y is going to give us sine of y. So this is going to be cosine x and then sine y. Plus, we integrated with respect to y, so we have to add an unknown function of x. I'll call that little g of x. All right, so we integrated this one, so we use this. Now we'll take the partial of this with respect to x and set it equal to this. Right? You have to use both conditions. So we've already used this one, so now we have to use this one. So we'll compute del f, del x. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then here we have the sine y. Plus, and then little g prime of x. So that's the partial of f with respect to x. So in order to use this, we have to set this equal to all of this. So this is tan x minus sine x sine y. And these guys are exactly the same, so they cancel, you can just add them to both sides. And so you have little g prime of x is equal to the tangent of x. So I'll assume that everyone knows if you integrate tangent, you end up with minus natural log absolute value of cosine x plus a constant but you don't have to add the constant because the final answer already has the constant in it so the final answer so final answer well here it is here's f right so it's cosine x sine y and then minus the natural log of the absolute value of cosine and we set that equal to capital C. So that is the solution to the differential equation. I hope that made sense.